Welcome to another edition of DMIG Safety. I'm Mike Dermanowell Jr. and over the next couple of minutes, I hope you learn something about how to be safe in the workplace. This is typical of what we see in a shop, a uh, unguarded table saw. We have uh, the saw blade uh, exposed and no guard in place. Uh, in this particular case, we can't even find the guard. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, you should never operate a table saw without a guard. Uh, it is a Cal OSHA requirement that you have a guard in place while operating uh, this tool. What's important uh, when you have a guard to also wear eye protection. Uh, it may be necessary to wear a eye protection and a face shield because of all the loose particles that are flying. Uh, when you're about to cut a piece of wood, always remember to keep your thumb and your fingers away from the, uh, the path of the blade. Um, and if you have to, maybe use a uh, push stick to push the, the wood right through the blade. So your, your hands and your fingers are away from the exposed rotating blade. Well, the key to what you just saw today is, what are you gonna do with the information? Are you gonna take it seriously? Are you gonna apply it to your daily work life? Because the entire purpose of the DMIG safety series is to make sure that at your school or at your church, we can have minimal injuries as possible. Thank you for watching.